What's going on guys, my name is Bruce Allen. I'm a photographer here in Washington, DC. And that's super important because the other weekend, Joe Biden was declared the winner of the 2020 election. And me living in Washington, DC, I decided to grab my camera and go down to BLM Plaza and take some photos. And boy, did I see some crazy stuff. All right, guys, so a few Saturdays ago, the media declared Joe Biden the winner of the 2020 presidential election. And the city of Washington, D.C. was so goddamn hyped that literally everyone's just honking their cars all day. I woke up at 8 a.m. to the sound of cars honking in celebration of his victory. I had just gotten one of my favorite cameras of all time in the mail, the Lomography LCA, a street photographer's dream. And I went down to BLM Plaza and decided to do a little bit of street photography, something that I really don't ever get to do. Starting off strong here. This was a dude wearing a floaty, a floaty tube, a scuba gear, and he had his butt cheeks out. Thankfully, you can't see it in these photos, but you can see a little cheekage, but this guy was literally just walking around with flippers. I don't know what he was trying to say, but he was, he was just having his own good old time. There were a lot of Black Power people there. Yeah, there were a lot. I don't know if it was like Black Panthers or what it was, but I've got a few photos of these people and I think I see their party's name somewhere. All right, so here it is, here it is. It, they're called the African People's Socialist Party. And it was like a large congregation of them just really chanting and cheering. It's weird because it was a celebratory day, but there were a lot of people protesting and chanting at this thing. It was just, I feel like maybe they were confused. <laughs> like, dude, we're there to like celebrate. The assortment of homemade signs were honestly spectacular. So I got a bunch of photos. Here's one of this guy with his, you're fired Trump sign. Here's a really interesting photo of what just felt like a very obvious awkward photo moment like a black chick with the blm flag with her fist up i don't know it just seemed a little canned and a little too easy i when i see photos like that i just cringe a little bit and i take photos of <laughs> everyone else taking that photo right because i'm cool i'm not like them i'm separate i'm not like those people and as you can see in the background you can see at the corner of the building it's wrapped in a sign that says black lives matter like this plaza is is has become a very popular landmark for protest and a place to kind of uh, have a platform to speak your voice and to do any sort of activism you want to. This was a really interesting shot. It was a white news lady properly lit going on the news and there's, there's someone just waving a BLM flag behind her. Here she is again, but this one's even more spicy because there's a dog, guy holding his dog behind her, uh, walking the opposite way. I don't know, I just thought this looked fascinating. Oh, and she was standing on a box. Most reporters stand on like like Apple boxes to make themselves look taller. This is just a really cool, interesting shot. I don't know if that sign was homemade or not, but Trump is over like everyone didn't know there. <laughs> this is really cool. So these kids were literally just making their money, jamming out, providing some tunes to everyone. People were vibing. They were just showing out, doing their drumline Nick Cannon status. Here we are. We got a flock of gay dudes over here just having a good old time. Their signs say, you're fired. You lose, you leave. And I really like this guy's shirt on the right. It says barbecue, beer, and freedom. That's just great. Honestly, these guys might not have been gay, but when I was there, I was like, oh yeah, this is a really interesting shot, right? Bunch of chunky gay dudes just having a good old time. Oh yeah, and so just real quick, as you're looking at these photos, I did get these developed from a friend that I know. And to be honest, they turned out okay. But then I also shot a roll of film a little underexposed and you know. All right, so here we are, Republicans for Biden. That was an interesting sign, but I really like this DIY Satan Trump sign. You know, you gotta give her props for that one. Here we go, another, another homemade sign. Impeach one term loser. I thought this photo would have been really epic, like Obama in front of the BLM corner, but you know, you gotta love whoever has that really ugly looking orange sign behind it. It's completely ruining my Pulitzer moment. I love this, I know I love shots like this. Like this is a, a typical LCA Lomography shot. So the LCA is a um, zone focused camera. It's automatic, but it has a zone focused paddle on the side. So you, it takes like some experience to get good with the camera and to really start nailing focus. So you'll notice that a lot of these photos aren't super sharp, but they have a lot of character. And so, you know, if the photos aren't in focus, camera's fault. If the photos, uh, are underexposed person who developed my photo's fault completely never my fault unless it's a good shot then that's all me 
It's all me. All right, this is a really fascinating shot. So this, this black lady's sign says, don't forget 55% of white women voted for Trump. Get y'all sh together, sincerely, black people. And then it's two white chicks taking a photo of it on their iPhones. I don't know. So this was really fascinating. This was like a media pit. You kind of saw this lady earlier from the side, but I thought the media pit was really interesting because as you go deeper and deeper into BLM Plaza, like which is closer to the White House, as you can see in the distance, uh, there were like different perimeter lines of sets of media people, Fox, media places from all over the world just set up and recording with their news anchors. It just felt really interesting. I didn't expect to see that there for some reason. Like I thought there'd be more, I don't know, unrest or something, but who knows. Here we are, some champs, some, sh some celebration champs on a jump bike. It doesn't get more DC than this photo. Bunch of white people in their office wear, pouring champagnes into probably Starbucks paper cups, riding electric bicycles at the protests. That's some DC ass shit. Here we are, I love her sign, the game over font. You know, it felt good, it felt iconic. You know, you never know what you're capturing. Here we go, a nice little underexposed baddie, like I said, not my problem. I really love what's going on in this photo. I wish I could see more of the shadow detail here and I even brought up the exposure here, but I just, I liked this. I like this uh, shot. This was interesting. So this was some, someone from the African Socialist Party that I was talking about earlier. This guy's wearing all black. Like it looks, it reminds me of the Black Panther style, but kind of intimidating to see that. Here's some video that I had captured. This is the the blogger spot right next to the, the a line of media people where people are just standing on a barrier and getting these very typical blogger photos. This was from the spot that they were all standing on. So you can kind of see, and that's the White House in the distance. So this is like still not really inside the main area of um, BLM Plaza and all the festivities going on. So now we're getting into the really fun parts where people are really celebrating, having a good time, turning up, social distancing does not exist. However, people are trying to keep their mask on, but how are you gonna keep your mask on when you gotta chug your Bud Light? I don't know, you tell me. So here we are, we got a we got a, a skinny legend in the middle of the dance pit over here, busting it open. Look at this person to her left over here, hitting the Dougie, I don't know what she's hitting. Also, big shout out the girl over here with her coffee filter face mask. How do people still rock coffee filter face masks? Don't they know you can just get face masks literally anywhere you go? So anyways. Oh, turns out the skinny legend was a dude. Got him. <laughs> but yo, he was killing it, man. Go him. But as you can see, it's such a Lamography shot, a little, little out of focus, but it just has so much character. In it, and I love that. It felt so fun to, to take photos there. Kind of a weird shot shooting from the hip here. Not really too sure what's going on, but someone's cracking a cold one right here. Here we are. Look at this crowd of people. This wasn't even the craziest part either. This was people just celebrating. Like that's how people felt. I mean, the mass game is strong, but the media is not gonna show you this stuff. Like people aren't gonna show you this stuff, but this was a giant release for the city. It generally felt like the city had a weight lifted off of its shoulders. And so this was just me throwing the camera up, taking a shot. Boom, people celebrating. Look at her having a good old time with that coffee filter face mask. Oh, I love this guy. So this guy's a pretty popular street performer in DC. Of course he was down there providing some vibes. That was like the pit he had sort of made. So he was like a quarter block from the main street, like literally like 10 steps from where everyone already was. So I just want to listen to him. He was, he was good, he was vibing. Here we go, we got this guy with the wig on dropping it low. There he is backing up on his friend. He was actually singing uh, some Bruno Mars songs. So it was pretty great. Him and his friends turning up. Look at that. Uh, I like this shot of him. And look at the sign in the background. Hey, Trump, you're fired. I don't know. Kind of a fun shot. Nothing to write home about. But I love the colors here. The Lomography contrast and saturation. That's what you get from the LCA. Because I just love the LCA. There we go. There he is rocking it out. So this is where things start to get super dense. And then as you can see, the National Monument background. This was at the at the fence that stops you from getting any closer to the White House. This was like maybe a hundred yards away. All right, so here we are at the front. We're in the front of the pit, the front of the show at the barrier. And boy, let me tell you, the demographic shifted so fast. It just turns into a frat party. Like it's what I imagine a Diplo or a Cascade or like a DJ Snake show would look like just minus the live music. So as you can see here, literally this is a street pole. People were shotgunning beers and doing champagne showers at the top of a street light. So here we go. This was me in the crowd. Look at that nice little sign. 
I love this photo. It is two dudes dressed in banana outfits. Why? I don't know. But they smoking a glizzy. They're smoking the blizzy. If you know what that is, and that's what's up. But I love this shot. So much character. So here we are. You can kind of get a more exposed shot of what people were doing. He was just like throwing out beers. And they got this sign right here. It says, you're fired. Oh, and you can also start to see the fence of um, people putting their protest art up there. This was in the crowd. Some, some fun crowd shots. Some girls that I'm guessing were maybe 21. Honestly, I felt like the kids that I was seeing at this front area drinking all these beers were like 16. It was so weird. Here we are chugging some Michelob Ultras. You got to be skinny legends, but, you know, keep it American. Look at him pull down the mask. <gasps> Here we are. Properly exposed shot. This is kind of how the vibes were at the front. So you can see like the BLM fence with a bunch of protests are in app. And behind that fence was the White House. So we were a good solid 200 yards from the White House, like super far away. Here we are. This guy's being a legend up on top of the street sign. And this is I love this shot right here. The police. So the, the police did, aren't doing anything, but they showed up for this kid. And the kid was about to chug. And so it's like, you're about to send it. And then the police come in. It's like, oh my God, do I get down or do I send it? Will I get arrested if I send it? He sent it. Good for him. You know, if you do all that and you don't send it, you're kind of fucking up. But even the police were like smiling. They were laughing. All right, so here we are. Crowd shot. You can't find one person not masked up. But at the same time, if you're drinking, someone brought their dog. So girls just loving up on a dog. So this guy was actually taking a shot through the fence at the White House because there was so much art that you couldn't even take a shot through the fence. This dude was flicking off the White House. And then, so as you can see, all these hashtags say her names, rest in power, um, photos and art. I'm assuming these are people who died at the hands of police brutality or police violence. So this was a shot through the fence. And I think this was a homeless encampment through the fence, which was kind of shocking. Um, but that's the White House right there. As you can see, there's multiple perimeters normally Without all this crazy political stuff, you could get really close, like right in front of the White House, but not no more. Two girls just vibing for Biden. Look at this guy with the champagne shower. Oh, I love that. That was, that was so lit. it for taking photos at biden's celebration party uh honestly i wish i had done more of this stuff because i live in such a unique city where i can actually do this stuff but in the next video guys i actually went down to the million maga march that happened the other weekend and took a bunch of photos as well got some crazy footage some crazy photos a couple fights it was pretty interesting so until then that's it that's the angle hope you enjoyed um yeah. Have a good day. Bye bye. USA! USA! You're USA! USA! Oh, don't try to me. Oh, you're coming to the people. Those people were fucked. It's over the scoreboard. The sexual liberties of America's landlord.